So I see so many videos on the internet telling men how to make women chase them, women how to get men to chase them. And I think that they're all rubbish, honestly. And I'm gonna give my opinion on it for what it's worth. And I think that I need to start this by saying that you've got to remember that a lot of the people that are gonna be available over the age of 30, or even like late 20s, or even possibly like sort of that mid to late 20s group are gonna be anxious avoidance which do make up like a significant proportion of society. And the thing is what attracts a secure person for a secure relationship isn't really what attracts like an avoidant and an anxious person. And that's how all these dating books make so much money. I was both anxious and avoidant, honestly. And it took me like 12 years of work on myself to like become secure. And you know, the difference with secure is that the these dating rule books don't work on you. If someone pulls back on you and you're secure, you're like, bye. If they don't text you, you're like, bye. Okay, I'll just move on then. Um, you feel a bit sad for a day and then that's it, you move on. That is how it feels now and that's amazing. <laughs> and that is how it feels for a secure person that they might kind of spend a few days, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I really like that relationship, but they're not gonna come chasing after you. But anxious and avoidant, absolutely, any day. If you pull back on either an anxious or avoidant, they're gonna chase you because they have an insecure attachment style and that messes with it. Pulling back and ignoring an anxious and avoidant person triggers them and it makes them wanna pick up the chase. If they're avoidant, it's because they suddenly feel safe because that energy's gone, so they're gonna come like running in and love bombing. And if they're anxious then pulling away is going to like trigger their fear of abandonment and they're going to like come chasing after you so it's going to work on people with an insecure attachment style and that's why these these books sell so much because it works it works on that that part of the population and if you're reading the book and you're having so many problems with dating you probably have one of these styles of of attachment and, you know, they're just making money from you. I'm the queen of like ignoring texts. Like even though my energy was quite chasey, I actually like used to do all these pathetic games because I really, you know, thought, oh, you know, I'm making myself too available. And, you know, I did so much like pulling back, ignoring, and did it lead to like a healthy, fulfilling, satisfying relationship? No, sure, I got some people chasing me here and there, but you don't really want people chasing you. You want one person that's like, in an amazing relationship with you. You don't want like lots of people that are like chasing you because you're like really emotionally unavailable. So first of all, I just want to put that one in that category that pulling back on a secure, healthy person, which is what you really want, isn't going to work. It only works on somebody that really wants to pick up the slack and chase you and, and actually has kind of low self-worth. And the second thing is this like, oh, men want hot women and you know, and then uh, with the other way, it's like that, you know, they want, I don't know, men with high body count or that are not nice guys, like women hate nice guys. This is all rubbish. But what happens is guys, in my opinion, it's rubbish. I mean, I have some kind of like confirmation of this because when I was in my 20s, I modeled, I was a model, so I was getting paid for my looks. Um, that doesn't mean that everyone would have found me attractive. Of course, like, you know, everyone has personal taste, but there must have been a group of men that I was attracted to if I was getting paid, you know? Back then, I wouldn't have felt that though, because I was super, super insecure. I hated myself. I always felt overweight. I felt fat. This is something that kind of happens to a lot of models. I think people think models are confident, but a lot of models are very highly insecure because we're around super skinny people all the time. There's like a total different norm. Everything is judged on looks. I went from that to fashion photography. And honestly, my confidence was like on the floor. Um, I used to really, really be insecure about the way that I looked and just overanalyze myself. I never felt good enough. These guys could be like way bigger than me, not anything like as attractive on paper. It didn't matter. I would always think I wasn't attractive. I wasn't skinny enough for them or young enough or what have you. And this was in my twenties. And the thing is like, I'm older now. Yeah, I get so, like, you know, I have a really nice relationship <laughs> and I attract people all the time that want to be in a relationship. Like I just have a totally different energy. And I think men think that it's looks. I think they really do believe they are visual. Um, but 
I know from my experience that it had nothing to do with my looks and everything to do with my energy that was attractive to people. It was when I love myself. And I don't mean you have to love yourself in that way that's really fake of like, oh, I'm so hot, like beg at my feet. That's not really loving yourself. You know, that's kind of, you're still insecure, but you're trying to like overcompensate in a different way. Really loving yourself is like, okay, maybe I don't look perfect. Like, yeah, there's loads of things I don't like about myself or what have you. But I do, there's someone out there that's gonna love me for me and I don't have to change myself for that person. I don't have to be something I'm not. I don't have to put on an act. I don't have to change my appearance. You know, yes, look nice, look how you wanna look, but, but you're confident in yourself. And when you become like that, it means you can just let people go if they don't accept you. If, if someone doesn't wanna date you, you can be like, okay, bye. Um, it's not this, you, you don't start trying to change yourself for them. And that unfortunately is what, when you watch so many of these videos, people start to do, they're like, oh, well, maybe if I do this, more women will be interested. Or if I do this, more men will be interested. Or maybe I have to up my body count of, of which is a horrible word. Hey, it's a horrible way of saying it. I just, that's what I hear people say. Or maybe if I stop, um, you know, being a nice guy and I treat women like crap, they will chase me. You know, none of these things are going to get you in a like really beautiful relationship. They're just going to get you with people that then you come back online and complain about because you're like, why do I always meet users or bad people, you know? And I'm not saying they're bad people. They just, everyone's just wounded. You know what I mean? But ha when you really, really like love yourself and respect yourself, irrespective of your body, how you look or anything like that, you don't tolerate shit from people. If someone treats you badly, you go, bye. Or if they're like, oh, I don't fancy you, but you know, bye. I don't like you because of this. I don't like your hobby, whatever. You love yourself enough and your security self, it, it, security is really the word. You're secure enough in yourself to just say, okay, bye then. And this works with guys too. Trust me, since I've been like that, people do not leave. <laughs> they do not leave. And you're okay if they do leave because you're like, well, you're not my person. If you don't want me as I am, as I come, looking like this, being like this, with this personality, then you're not my person. And as soon as you, it doesn't mean you can't love people or what, wish they stayed, but you're happy to let anyone go. Like anyone that doesn't respect you and treat you like, well, as you are without you having to change yourself they're not your person, they're just not your person. And it's the same for guys, like it doesn't matter if you're a virgin, it doesn't matter if you're the nicest guy on the planet Earth, it doesn't matter if you're a geek, you can still be attractive with all those qualities if you just own them and you accept that they're part of you and you don't try to beg someone to stay, change yourself to get someone to stay or do anything to get someone to stay that doesn't want to stay. As soon as you start letting people go, and not trying to change yourself or beg them or manipulate them or what have you, you will become like a million times more attractive. Trust me on that. <laughs> and I really think that's for men and women. Men can say all day long that it's about looks, but I really don't think it is. I mean, yes, they might look at a hot girl on the street, but when it comes to like, and you know what it's like too, is people change to you as well, right? Have you ever dated someone and you've thought that they were really like attractive at the time and you like used to look at them like they were so beautiful and then you break up and you're like, oh my God, what was I thinking? People's appearance actually changes based on their energy to you. So if you connect to somebody, they will be more attractive. If you're feeling like a, an energetic spark with somebody, they will be more attractive to you. So... It's really, in my opinion, it's really just about owning who you are and being okay with people leaving. Not feeling like if someone leaves you, it's because you're a lesser person or no one's gonna want you or what have you. It's just, they're not your person. And honestly, once you're willing to let them go, you'd be surprised how many people wanna stay. <laughs> because it's an attractive energy. It's a very attractive energy. And you don't have to like change, twist yourself like a pretzel to try and attract somebody. The only thing I will say is unattractive is, and I think they call it circling better or something. I'm so bad with these like terms, 
but where you know when a man like that is something that is really unattractive and it it, it falls into the category category of desperation is commenting on girls pictures and posts with fire emojis and wow you look great on every picture that isn't like if that ever works let me know because i doubt that ever works maybe it's worked like twice in the history of either sending like if you inbox somebody and they don't reply, leave it. Like, send in somebody, like, four messages when they haven't responded to one. That falls into desperate category. Like, you don't want to be, des be, be desperate. You can be a virgin. You can be a geek. You can be, like, a super nice guy. But you don't have to be desperate. You know, they're separate things. Like, those things do not make you desperate. They make you cool. That's you. That's who you are as a person. Own it. Elon Musk is a geek. <laughs> and you think he has trouble finding women? And I bet he... D it's not the money either. I bet he didn't have trouble before he was wealthy. Because he's super smart. And he clearly is an interesting guy. And he owns his geekiness. Like... And that makes him attractive. These days, geeks have never been more in favour. You know, there's nothing wrong with being these things. Like, that's you. That's your character. You'll find your match. You love you for these things. But desperation is like a different thing to, like, being nice. And I think that's where people struggle. They think, they sort of think a nice guy is this desperate guy. No, a des desperate is desperate. Nice is nice. Like, everybody wants a nice person. Who doesn't want to date a nice person? If you don't, it's because you, like have some childhood trauma, to be honest, that makes you want like somebody that's not nice. And once you heal that childhood trauma, you're not going to be attracted to somebody anymore that's like not a nice person. So you're probably going to leave and then the relationship's going to end anyways. And then, you know, there'll be a, you'll be divorced. But yeah, I just felt, I just, I just see so much. <laughs> and um, I, I think people are just spending so much of their time trying to make themselves into this person that someone's going to like. And that in itself is, it's not attractive. It's not, it's not, if you heard that little snoring, it's Lilith. <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, it, it, what is attractive is you. You are attractive to your person exactly as you are. And all you have to do is realize that and be willing to let anybody go that doesn't see that. And people are gonna honestly gonna stay. Or if they leave, they're gonna be replaced by somebody that does wanna stay because your energy is like in attraction mode. It is so, so powerful. Like I just can't stress it enough. As soon as you, can, if somebody threatens to leave you or they say they don't want you as you are, bye is the way to handle that because I love myself enough that I'm not gonna change myself. I mean, when I say that, I just wanna like, as I end this video, say obviously, you know, we should definitely change ourselves and evolve and we should definitely always strive to be like better people. And obviously if our partner has like a genuine complaint of where they feel unheard or unseen, sure we can, we can you know, help one another grow through that. And even though it's like always an inner journey, you know, of course you can be helpful and hold space and be respectful for your partner. But when it, act, and you can work on becoming a better person, but when it, act, you know, when someone's actually like, you know, you're not good enough for me as you are, I'm going to go, or, oh my God, I don't know who to pick between like two people. Rather than try to vie for attention, just be like, okay, well, if you don't know them, bye. It's not me. It's the other person, if you're not sure. That is honestly the most attractive thing either sex can do. And yep, this was all my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. And um, I'll speak to you all soon. <laughs>